guys, there's something here. So, I'm back with more Magnum Alpha 2, and we are about to start the third trial. Make sure I have the latest. There we go. As far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator door slow, opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. But I walked into that place. My, my, my. It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. <laughs> well, two people got killed at the same time, and Tekamaru's not here either. Hey, hey! Is Tekamaru really not participating? He's alive, you should invite him. No, no! Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. Now then, let's begin. Yeah it's the beginning of the long awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. So. Either Nekomaru's a traitor or Nekomaru's dead because one of the rules was mandatory participation. So the current to the third class trial was about to open. Buki Miyota, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. I was with her, all my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Yoko Sayonji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul now. She was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Amira's death. The person who killed those two is among us. I definitely can't believe it. Right away, I'm rolling out. Go and Nagito. Whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Let's figure out the truth and we'll be able to escape from this hell. That's why we must find out, no matter the cost. For our sake, for our friend's sake, for Buki and Yoko's sake. So, the third to the third class trial was about to open. This life earning trial, filling with hope and despair, has begun. Yeah, sure. Alright, and I actually have the skills this time. Ooh, I have a lot of skill points, actually. Uh, charisma! Influence recovery, yes. This is power of the silencer. That's what I got from Red Gundam. This guy's too crazy slower, I'll take that. Covers over time. 
Sounds good. That's actually all I have. Okay. There's preparations. No, I'm not ready, but I gotta do it. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Here's the thing. I have no idea on this one. Like, I cannot figure it out in the slightest. I have parts of how it happened figured out, but I don't quite have it figured out yet. So I'm very, very curious as to how this might end up. If you vote correctly, then only the Blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already! I don't mind starting the trial, but... I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? True. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Alright, Kazuichi, shut up. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Sure. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. I noticed you skipped over a few parts there, Hajime. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. I still say, despite what we initially thought, that's probably Yoko. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought, but the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Yep. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone. So, I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. I just noticed my cook has a raised hand there, I'm kind of wondering why. Various ways? 
Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Yes, I'm not sure why you're asking as a question. You're there. When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. I'm not convinced of that. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? There it is. Huh? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video, and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Okay, I get what he's doing. He's doing, he's doing a really roundabout way, but I get what he's doing. Because he said, uh, he goes the kind of guy who doesn't use his big matters worse. I should have explained to not get the trouble out next to that. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. I got too late, but I did have it. Hajime's testimony is a lie. And the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. There it is. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. There we go. No, that's wrong. Did not kill himself, so it told me to hang on to the ticket. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Yes, I don't get what, exactly what Nikita's doing, but I get part of it. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or, did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? That's a very good question. 
Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. There it is. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. He has a point, actually. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. Except they didn't. Hiyoko was already dead. I still think Hiyoko was the one we initially saw hanging. And then later it was a boot. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hachime, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? Right, there's not even any windows. If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! There it is. and Kazuichi! I was gonna say Sonya Kazuichi and sure enough. Me too? There's no alibi for you. I saw Gundam. What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. True. Me too! I thought I had a response, but I got nothing. Hey, why are you talking like, huh? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? He's always up to something weird. <laughs> Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? Go inside the music menu. I don't think so, but that's not really it. I'm going to have to let this one go through first. The killer was still inside the music menu. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? 
You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside... Wait until we gather together. And suddenly appear. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Is still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited until we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they looked like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. I don't see. I'll see a contradiction. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Jump stick was used to lock the door from the inside, right? Is that true? It's not like I know if the door was really locked or not, but you what I'm saying. Crap! That doesn't help. The killer uh, was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken? You can use that as a by doing that. The waited till we get and suddenly it so they look like I have seen this in serial crime dramas. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. No, that's wrong. Okay, that's not really a contradiction. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber, maybe? gaps of the closed door. They must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, 
A glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, will you be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? That raises more questions. First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap! Doesn't change the alibis, though. Apologize to Miss Sonia! And me! However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time! In a quarrel, both sides are to blame! That's why it's better to just have no sides at all! Monami, shut up. So, during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? Right. But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. I brought up that possibility before. I think it's technically true. It's revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Yep, that's the paper that's... That's the wallpaper for those uh, columns. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? Scrap that was stuck on the baton lighting of the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. Alright, time is damn it. It's not going to this early. Got it. 
part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting and tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. Oh, come on! But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Scrap of paper, stuck to the pond like a tongue that won't be able to count the scores. Connect to the sudden appearance of the open pie. Suspect from there, the answer is kind of clear. Now let's give this a try. Uh, the logic dive. Hold on. Stick to move, make to accelerate, beat a break, why to jump. Why did Yoko's body suddenly appear to see the crime it was hidden? Next question, any time now. Why the brakes exist. Next question. The killer used to hire body. Wallpaper. I'm still not sure how this works. This is actually the answer either. I don't really care for this deep dive stuff. I think they'll hide her body from the wallpaper. Cover the pillar. So that's the only way that makes sense. any sense. I still don't think that's what actually happened. It's all coming together! Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the, the, I got him. Sweetie. The idea is that the body was already taped up. It was covered. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Yoko's body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. 
Alright, so that throws away one of my theories. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay. That... Then the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers is to make it look like the pillar. It was always there. That's how they hid Yoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music game. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note... I still think Hyoko was killed before Mookie. It's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Right, you wouldn't have seen that. Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monami 2.5D? Hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities, it must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. Not quite. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. No, see, I'm, I still think Hyoko was the Tin Man. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims is the two issue is now. The killer works whether it comes to escape from something like movies to hide the weapon. The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so it mix up the killing order. Then, Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. Uh, this, uh, slowly makes it look a lot like with Sonya. going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Kind of, just admit you're a jerk. Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? There was blood. But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How right. 
Your words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. Look who's talking. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> you want to talk? And Lance confuses the hot circles. It's best we clarify who he stabbed and killed. Mm -hmm. So I have what was 12 souls so I need. When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Yes. I agree with that. The thing is really That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Right. Then it's Hiyoko's blood. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood. Ibuki was still standing when Kyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Kyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! Got dumb! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? The Sappers, I don't think this has anything to do with anything. I, it's just a bit of stance. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now! You better entertain me to the fullest! I hate this. Anyways, this You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just about to see a nice nightmare. Yeah. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs. Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs. Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on. You can't step on blood that oh, was never blood. <laughs> Just okay, I see what you're doing. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet. Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood there on the floor. Allow me to cut through those words. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things! You don't have proof of that at all! Yes, I do. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? 
I guess. Honestly, I'm confused by this one. Even if they're able to hide Hiyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe... The finger was running inside the music venue, so it would screw with Mikan's autopsy? Yes. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the fever! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file, just to keep concrete evidence for us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that... It is wiser to retreat for now. Fine, then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. What the hell are you talking about, Gundam? Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? A suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but... I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um... Nagito, what do you mean, if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko, and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? Possible. Unlikely, but possible. That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. That would be incredibly difficult to pull off. Not impossible, but difficult. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means... There's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Do you have to say I'm glad? What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? She was ordered to kill herself. That part, I've got. Huh? According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? The forced? Perhaps... They used hypnotism or something? They wouldn't need hypnotism. I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Our plan is to destroy 
are the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually flies? Right. What time did Hajime see that video? Just before the morning announcement. I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music video a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. Yeah, Sonia, you're still number one on my list because of the whole fear thing. <laughs> we can exclude the sick people like me and Connie, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! It was supposed to happen before and during the morning announcement. But it doesn't have an alibi for that time. We can exclude the sick people like... Uh, and what about the... Alright, uh, alibi, alibi. Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Connie, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement... I want you to open the Ipox account again. Totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Their cottage is right. I'm not by the right. Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel is doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... That doesn't work. 
crap! We can exclude this. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel is doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. That was it? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the so morning announcement, I was totally I sleeping. I think everyone is... So everyone is... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to... That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Nah. Right before them, I was totally slipping through everyone. So everyone is What about you guys? I was where I was put. That's not. The fact that was a if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest up. Alibi has failed. It has to be one of these. It has to be. We can exclude the sick. And what about the right before them? I was totally sleeping. I think everyone is so everyone is What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to. That's nothing. Aside from those afflicted, if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. We can exclude the sick people like you and Connie, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Crap! I, I have no idea. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel is doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. And here we go. Sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, the I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Right, I actually do have an alibi. The ticket is an alibi. If nobody has an alibi, then... Oh, come on! <sighs> Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement...
I think everyone at the motel is doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... No, I can't have an alibi. That's what I was missing. She can't have the alibi because she was watching it. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You... you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Had to bring it up. Hey, what kind of situation is that? Stop. <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of consciousness. Too much info. It, it wasn't like that. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But... committing an imitation murder... Is that really all it was? Here we go. He's gonna bring up the important part. Remember, Ibuki would listen to whatever anyone told her. Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Okay, I'm confused. The killer had a different reason? That's the case. Still the killer's trap? It's not a trap set by one of us. If so then, who what kind of trap is it? So, uh, let's go to the 
back 